I was wrong about the Numark Mixtream Pro. Now, are these speakers a good idea and are they the future? I don't think so. <laughs> you serious? Speakers in a controller are indeed the future and you know what else is the future? Battery powered controllers. Introducing Newmark's latest innovation, the Mixtream Pro Go, a mid-sized standalone controller equipped with 6-inch capacitive jog wheels, paddle effects, built-in speakers, a complete mixer section, and a vivid 7-inch touchscreen display. Like its predecessor, the Mixtream Pro Go inherits its best feature, Engine DJOS, the operating system that keeps getting better and better with every update. And just like its predecessor, the Mixstream Pro Go can also work with Virtual DJ and Serato DJ. So the main difference between this unit and its predecessor, besides the color change which I really like, is that it's now battery powered. Although this amazing new feature may not represent the significant improvement I was hoping for, it does bring a level of convenience to the controller that is currently unmatched in the market. As a result, I would choose this unit over the original Mixstream Pro and the Denon DJ Prime Go. So to save you some time, here's my upfront conclusion. The Mixstream Pro Go is a highly versatile DJ controller that combines the convenience of battery power and built-in speakers with the advanced features of Engine DJ OS. While it inherits both positive and negative aspects from its predecessor, the addition of battery power makes it a great choice for DJs and mobile DJs who desire the freedom and convenience to DJ anytime and anywhere. But it's not just the convenience factor that makes the Mixstream Pro Go a great investment. Its compatibility with Engine DJ OS allows it to keep getting better and better with each update, making it a valuable tool for DJs at any skill level. So with that said, let's dive deeper into this amazing controller. The Mixstream Pro Go is a battery-powered DJ controller, the second in a music DJ's line. I absolutely adore the first one, the Denon DJ Prime Go, although I find it a bit difficult to use due to its small size, but that's just my personal preference. Now on to the main question. How long does the Mixstream Pro Go last on a full charge? After conducting several tests with the controller speakers on full blast, I found out it typically lasts between 3 to 4 hours. This is quite impressive, especially when compared to the Denon DJ Prime Go, which lasts about the same amount of time despite not having built-in speakers to power up. This makes the Mixstream Pro Go my preferred choice over other standalone units. It's incredibly easy to pick up and start DJing with without the hassle of worrying about the technicalities such as speakers, computers, and now, power sources. The Numark Mixstream Pro Go, aside from being battery-powered and having built-in speakers, set itself apart from other standalone units with its engine DJ OS. This DJ operating system not only provides a reliable DJing experience, but also caters to modern DJ needs. With Engine DJ OS, you can easily stream music from popular services like the following. Moreover, Engine DJ OS enables you to control your DMX lights and smart lights using engine lighting, giving you more control over your performance. In addition, you can plug in thumb drives or an SD card with your playlist and mix from there. Now, it's worth mentioning that the Numark Mixstream Pro Go, this unit's predecessor, can now work with Virtual DJ and Serato DJ. And I'm pleased to say that the Mixstream Pro Go will also be able to integrate with these popular DJ software platforms. Now for me, the best part of Engine DJ OS is that it receives regular updates ensuring that you always have access to the latest features and functionalities. This means that your experience with the Mixstream Pro Go will keep improving as new iterations of Engine DJ come out, offering more features and functions as the years go by. On the hardware side, the Mixstream Pro Go features 6-inch capacitive jog wheels that feel nice and sturdy, similar to its predecessor. While they're suitable for solid mixing, they may be a bit heavy for more complex scratch routines. However, it's worth noting that there are a limited number of truly portable controllers available on the market. So if you want to scratch and have a standard feel on beat matching, the Mixstream Pro Go may be the ideal choice as these jog wheels are much easier to use than the tiny ones on the Denon DJ Prime Go. Although the performance pads on the Mixstream Pro Go are virtually unchanged from its predecessor, they still provide a reliable and familiar feel. The pads look and function the same, with the only difference being a white backlight instead of red. 
Each deck still has only 4 performance pads, but toggling the modes above allows access to a second layer of functions. However, the limited number of performance pads remain a drawback for those looking to do more complex and technical mixing. The pad modes available on the controller also remain the same with Q, Save Loop, Auto Loop, and Roll still present. A new addition with Engine DJ 3.0 is the ability to access your sample bank by pressing Shift and Roll. Now when it comes to the tempo faders, they're still on the shorter side. Nonetheless, they get the job done and feel tight and precise. The mixture section of the Mixstream Pro Go delivers a DJing experience comparable in quality to most controllers on the market despite its unconventional knob placement. Nevertheless, this layout is sensible, especially when considering the 7-inch touchscreen display and speaker section. As for the specifics, you still have your standard 3 EQ band and filter knobs along with nice and sturdy faders and a decent cross fader. Now it's worth mentioning that the volume indicator lights are now blue and white on the Mixstream Pro Go and this combination goes nicely with the new blue backlights and brushed metal finish. The effects section on the Mixstream Pro Go is well equipped with dedicated buttons for classic effects like echo, delay, flanger, and phaser. These effects are must-haves for any DJ during mixing and the paddle triggers provide a fun, seamless, effect activating experience which I really enjoy on these types of controllers. While the absence of wet slash dry knobs is noticeable, the latest updates in Engine DJ enable you to modify your effects parameters via the 7 inch touchscreen display. Turning to the back of the Mixstream Pro Go, Numark has maintained the inclusion of XLR and RC outputs which I find commendable as XLR cables tend to produce higher quality output compared to RCAs. And keep in mind that most professional venues use high-grade speakers that only take XLR. So having this option on the Mixstream Pro Go is a mobile DJ's dream. Now, the unit also features input slots for an SD card and two thumb drives for your music and a USB B port to connect to a computer if you want to use it with other DJ software. Returning to the front of the controller, the Mixstream Pro Go retains its built-in speakers which were a controversial feature of the original Mixstream Pro. However, in the time since the Mixstream line was released, I have come to appreciate the convenience of having speakers built into a controller. Additionally, these speakers are more than sufficient for music monitoring, offering ample volume for both studio use and small intimate gatherings. And with the addition of battery power, the Mixstream Pro Go sets a new standard of convenience and value for DJs. So if you're in the market for the best bang for buck controller, the Mixstream Pro Go is undeniably it. Now if you want to check out more controllers that may or may not be better than the Mixstream Pro Go, then watch this video over here. Who knows, these controllers may actually be cheaper.